Hey guys, it's Mikey and today I'm actually really excited because we're going to be taking a look at Pop! OS by System76. Now if you didn't already know this, System76 is a manufacturer that makes Linux laptops, desktops, and servers. And right here it says a step forward in user experience, which is definitely a tongue twister, definitely an accurate statement, even though these are my initial impressions that I'm going to be sharing with all of you. You know what, so let's jump right into it. You have two download options. One is for Intel and AMD systems and the other one is for NVIDIA. Your minimum requirements are at least two gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of storage, and a 64-bit processor. One of the things I love about Pop! OS though is that even though it's Ubuntu-based and it's running GNOME, it's a very streamlined experience. It's not like System76 just slapped a bunch of on there and said, here guys, have it. It's a very tailored experience and a very unique experience, I might have to add, because it's like, um, if you guys have used elementary, it's very similar to that. It's just very well done. And like every little detail is like really, um, really just well focused on. Everything is like pure focus. So let's just jump right into it. Um, this is my desktop. Okay, and let's see what apps it comes with. It does come with weather pre-installed, which is awesome. You know, like the little applet here. It comes with its own pop shop, which I think is a fork of the elementary app store, if I'm not mistaken, because it looks very similar. You'll have third party pop picks by the way i love that name pop shop <laughs> so you'll have telegram you'll see spotify slack visual studio code signal steam for those gamers out there chromium for people who love chrome but want um just not something by google officially um yeah let's go take a look at the office first now these do not have like curated apps like elementary does obviously because this is not an elementary OS. But it does have some, it does come packaged like the, the app store does have some cool, um, I think it's just like the regular Ubuntu store if I'm not mistaken, it just looks different. Development. Bluefish is actually really, um, it's really a nice editor. So. I do use that from time to time, or I did uh, back when I was learning and building. Let's see, system. Now of course this, this does come available, I'm not sure if it has GNOME tweaks available right away. Uh, yeah, it does have GNOME tweaks, but I'm not sure if I installed that manually or it came with it. I believe though I did install it manually. Um, you know, this is just where you tweak little parts of GNOME. You can install other themes, of course. Um, let's jump right into the settings. Let's see what it comes with. Wow, I can't type. Now, I do love their artwork. What I will say is that a lot of these, like if you see these, the, where my mouse is pointing, it reminds me of um, art back in the day when companies are really creative and just this like, they're very artsy. I don't know, it just reminds me of like an old fashioned thing, but I love it, it's beautiful. Like the artwork here is like, wow. Like it's done with heart. And I feel like that's something that you don't get like, you get it with micro, I mean Microsoft doesn't even, it's like very corporatized, it's like very professional and like, just very bland and these are just very creative i love that so yeah i mean these are the ones it comes with by default and you can actually go to colors you know if you want just like a bland you know just a gradient or something customize notifications i think there's just a regular ubuntu um settings if i'm not mistaken it doesn't look very different other than the theme itself So what else can I show you guys? Um, note apps. I personally use um, Giga Notes, and it reminds me a lot of um, Evernote Web, to be honest, because it has a lot of um, 
you know, it has folders and subfolders, rich text, file attachment, and it has sync, if you so choose. You can work, you can choose to work offline, of course, um, but you can sign in with your Google account and create a, I think you can create a Giganauts account, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, th this is an article I'm working on, actually. <laughs> So yeah, it's very um, it's a very good notes app. They have it available, I think, for Android as well as Windows and Linux. Well, obviously it's on Linux. <laughs> they don't have it on um, Mac though, but they do have a web version, which is pretty good. It looks like the same thing, honestly. It just looks like this app is like a wrapper, to be honest. But I'm not too sure how to tell the difference. Um, but that'll be for another day. So. Of course, the Files app, it looks nice as well. It's, um, I'm, I think this uses, if I'm not mistaken, the Paperius theme. Uh, of course, you can download it uh, manually from gnomelooks.org. And you can, of course, change the themes, but this is a really good file manager. Um, I have like a pleasure using it and organizing my files and documents. For text, Actually, um, it's kind of funny. It's very simple, but I just love the look of it. So you can go to text. I don't know. I just love the look of this um, text editor. And of course, you can choose um, Markdown. How do you choose Markdown here? Um, I did it before. Now I can't figure it out. Oh, right here. So if you can just you can go to Markdown. So, um, I think it's to right. This is an excellent tool. Okay, and that's like, it's very basic, it's very minimal. It's not, I'm not, you know, replacing Giga Notes with it or something, but when I want a focused, clean experience, it's actually very good. Uh, close without saving. So, um, I don't know that there is much I can share with you all, uh, much more than this, because these are my initial impressions. I definitely would recommend that you use this and check it out if you want. I mean, it's a very stable experience. That's number one that I agree with. Uh, the number one thing I agree with when they said here, um, what is it that they said? A step forward in user experience, which is definitely right off the bat true. Now I will add one more thing actually. The install process is actually very unique. So I, th I don't remember it from detail and I wish I was experienced enough with editing to know how to record the um, install process, you know, without running a virtual box in and stuff. But um, so I think what happens is you set it up, right? Uh, you enter what disk you want it to install on, if you, whether you want to partition it or wipe it. You set a root password or a boot password, an encryption password if you want. And what happens is that is it. So you unplug the USB when it's done, reboot, and only then do you have to pick your username and your login password and all that. So it's pretty cool. Uh, let me just go through the menu to see if I want to show you anything else. For the Office apps, it comes with LibreOffice. Well, it's Libra, Word, Libra Writer, sorry about that. Office Impressions, I think that's like Slide or something. Draw and Calc. Kazam Screencaster does not come with it, nor does Record My Desktop or Peak. I installed a lot of these on my first day. I think that was yesterday morning because I was really excited to do the video, but I noticed that a lot of recorders with GNOME for some reason, GNOME misses the fact that you actually need, um, what is it, an indicator? So there's no indicator for me to stop the recording. So it's a little uh, hassle. I'm using, right now, I'm using what? Nimbus Screen Recorder, which is the best tool. I honestly, like, don't even need a screen recorder for me, personally. It's not like, because I'm not doing an advanced video or something. I'm just showing you my initial impressions. Um, you can customize it. Obviously, it's Linux, so you can customize it however you want. The terminal, obviously, is very 
simple. I love the elegant look and it's very sleek. So of course, if you want to update, just you guys are familiar with this, so you don't have to get update. Okay, so that's fine. Let's see if you can edit the terminal preferences. And of course you can change the looks, the colors, whatever you want. It's very detailed. I love how everything is just so well um, implemented here. It's like all the apps that it comes with fit the theme very well. And I feel like not even Ubuntu does this. Um, because if you go into the Ubuntu software store, and you can do that here, um, you can go, I think it's called the GNOME software store. Okay, GNOME software store or GNOME software. <laughs> and this is the app store. You can install another app store on here, obviously. Now, to be honest, I do love the pop shop way more. I just think this looks ugly, you know, not to cause any <laughs> fights or anything. It's just too much white space. And I don't like that. I love the pop shop. Um, I was already in the pop shop. I love the pop shop because it's very colorful. And it's just not a white, I mean, there's a lot of obviously white space, but like these icons, they're very colorful and vibrant. That's one thing. I did hear somewhere that you can install the Deepin store, but I tried that and it didn't work for me. I'm sure there's a way around it. I just haven't gotten around to it, but the Deepin store is definitely miles better at my favorite app store, to be honest with you. Um, for a Linux distro. This is actually, uh, you know, this and the Deepin store are the best ones. To me, I never like the GNOME software store or the Ubuntu software store. I don't know. Whatever you guys want to call it. Um, for Node apps, honestly, I, I showed you GigaNotes and there is, there are other Node apps, um, Available Joplin Notes. Okay. This is like a very similar as um, idea to um, Evernote and GigaNotes. It does sync with Dropbox and it's cross platform for like every platform, so Windows, Mac, and Linux. They do have it on Android and iOS devices. To me, I don't like, I personally don't use Dropbox because they give you very free little storage. Very little free storage, sorry. Um, and uh, I do think you can store it locally if I'm not mistaken, but I'm the type of person who likes to, you know, start on my desktop and then carry on on my phone, you know, if I'm on the go, but that's just me. It is free. I don't think there's a paid version of this if I'm not mistaken. Giganotes and... Um, Joplin are both free. Um, what else? And that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you like this quick review. Again, um, you know, let me know what you guys think. If you if you want, um, if you have any ideas for our next video, or if you have any um, suggestions for me to improve this video, and if there's something that you guys want to see. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, take care.